The Water Research Commission is trying to be part of the solution when it comes to sanitation issues in the Eastern Cape. The Commission and the Basic Education Department have signed a Memorandum of Understanding to enable this. A new generator facility has been installed at one Kanyasani Primary School, the pilot project. All 177 pupils there had previously only been able to use portable toilets. I'm hoping that now will change. Let's discuss this initiative with the WRC Executive Manager of Business and Innovation, Dr. Valerie Naidu. Dr. Naidu, thank you so much for your time joining us virtually from Pretoria. We can't start this conversation without laying the foundation, and that is that specifically if you look at our government schools across the country, uh, the issue of sanitation and um, just basic sanitation um, has been a massive issue in our schools. And here, of course, we're also talking about pit latrines, claiming the lives of um, one too many little child uh, in our government schools with the promise of that being changed, really not coming to fruition from the basic education department fast enough. But we do understand it's something that they're working on. Um, paint for us the picture of what you found at this specific school before you got involved. So I think the, the school that uh, we're speaking of is quite common across the country in the sense that uh, there are various issues. One, it seems that in South Africa, the issue of uh, equity and the, uh, the issue of dignity of sanitation is a core issue in the sense that we are putting a whole lot of sanitation facilities out there, but they're unsustainable. And now there are many reasons for this, one of which is options. So what are the options that these uh, schools can have? Uh, essentially, we're in areas where there is no water or low water or unreliable water. Essentially, they are looking at dry toilets or VIP pit toilets. Uh, we also see that these uh, there's inadequate uh, facilities at these uh, spaces. Uh, more often than not, uh, the, the construction is poor around these sites. The operations and maintenance is poor around the sites. But also it's an issue of cost and whether there is a sewer network nearby. And so what we find is where you live determines very often the type of sanitation facility that these kids are being given. And as you correctly said, far too often we hear of these sad stories of kids falling into pits and, and uh, it's, it being fatal. So your team gets involved and uh, you've come up with, or you haven't come up with it, it's uh, um, uh, technology um, from the United States, I understand, but you're calling the, uh, this next generation sanitation facility the new generator, that's the name for it. Can you explain it to us in a layman's terms, what it is that you've put in to position at this school? So as I said, I mean, some of the core issues is around water efficiency, water availability, uh, cost and whether these are actually uh, sustainable solutions. So the new generator is designed to be water efficient uh, from a, a use of water point of view. It also reuses water. What does that mean? It essentially means that once you fill up the water, you can recycle the water continuously. And we're looking here to say, can we offer the convenience of a flush toilet in areas that are dry or areas that don't have reliable supplies of water? But secondly, can we be more sustainable around some of the sanitation technologies that we use? For example, most of the waste that we create as human beings, they produce nutrients, nitrogen and phosphorus. And can we use that for food gardens or community gardens, for example? Yeah. But can we also generate energy? So in these spaces, the new generator is modular, it's off-grid. It basically says I, you don't need to have a sewer, but you can still provide these kids with dignified sanitation at the end of the day. And uh, so far, so good. I'm not uh, entirely sure if this has been implemented already. Are the children and the staff at the school, are they using it already? What's, what's the feedback been? So we have implemented it at the school. At the moment, it's a holiday, so the mm. kids are not uh, at the school. But uh, it was implemented. So we are basically on the 18th of July uh, going in to launch it with the school. There's been some pre-training done at the school. We've been able to uh, speak to the principal and get them to do the, the uh, sort of initial use of the school. I think for us, this is just uh, a way of um, 
launching it so that everyone understands that this is the type of technology that we could use in uh, South African schools in the future. And, and to give also to honor, I suppose, Dr. Nelson Mandela on this day, who believed very specifically as South Africans, uh, education is a differentiator and our schools should be places of learning and it shouldn't be difficult spaces where we're constantly talking every four to five years around whether you know school sanitation is adequate, whether it's dignified or whether it's equitable. Mm -hmm. What's the p big picture here, uh, uh, Valerie? Are you hoping that this is something that can be rolled out at other schools yeah. where the need is uh, serious? Uh, and also, um, our informal settlements um, uh, would be a massive uh, um, uh, a need as well in that regard. So our aim is to test these options and through science and research, be able to give the data uh, to the Department of Basic Education Hence, this part of the program was done uh, in partnership with the Presidential SAFE initiative. The idea is to get enough data so we can benchmark and roll it up, roll it out to, uh, thro throughout the, the country. I think you brought an important point with regard to informal settlements. We're just starting now in terms of uh, engaging around informal settlements. We're uh, already testing two technologies uh, in Johannesburg, with Johannesburg Water. And we're about to roll out some technologies as well at uh, Etiquini, uh, as well as the city of Cape Town uh, in future. And, and the idea here is if we are able to test these in multiple environments, we can see whether these technologies are suitable, whether they're sustainable, whether the users are able to accept these technologies and hence take responsibility and ownership as well around the cleanliness and the operations of some of the uh, sanitation solutions. But what we are offering is more than a binary choice. Mm. If you have water, you essentially have flush toilets. If you're near cities and urban areas, you essentially have flush toilets. But if you don't, you then have VIP toilets. We're saying innovation closes that gap. Innovation is ba basically able to bring you technologies like the new generator for informal settlements, which are here to stay, but also for school sanitation, so that there are more options on the ground and hopefully we make better decisions and are able to scale it up across the country. Indeed, that is Water Research Commission Executive Manager of Business and Innovation, Dr. Valerie Naidu, speaking to us virtually from Pretoria. Thank you so much for your time.